Hello everyone, it's me Christine again. Welcome back to my second channel where I don't upload videos often enough. It's a good thing you stuck around because you're not gonna wanna miss this. So some of you longtime holosexuals may be aware that as a child, I was in commercials. Yeah, you. I know you Googled me. <laughs> when I was eight years old, my parents decided it was a good idea to put me in front of a camera and make some money off of me. <laughs> that sounds terrible. I eventually quit when I was 13, which was in 2001. A space odyssey because my parents were like, you gotta stop missing school, kid. And honestly, I'm happy that they took me out of acting because if I hadn't gone and stayed in school, then who knows where I would be. Maybe I would have become a YouTuber. Let's take a little time travel trip back to the days when I filmed shit as a child. This was before YouTube even existed, so unfortunately I couldn't find every single commercial that I've ever been in because they're not online. They're on these weird things called VHSs. Let's start with my very first commercial. I was eight years old. <gasps> What's that? Pick me up. It's my Furby. That's not me. Furby loves you lavender. Tickle me. Furby, the first Giga Pet oh, you pet. Giga Pet. <laughs> Uh oh, achoo! <laughs> your Furby sneezed, achoo! And gave mine a cold. Furby <laughs> loves you, love and <laughs> <laughs> Your Furby sneezed, achoo! And gave mine a cold. Furby, <laughs> Furby. F and second Furby commercial. Oh, f. Ah, AK. AK Coco? That's Furby. Oh, the quality is unprecedented. May take off. <laughs> what just happened? Did anyone understand anything? <laughs> what am I even saying? <laughs> Amazing. Me? <laughs> what the f are you saying, girl? Use your mouth. Next one. Norwich Union. Remember Patrick. That's what it's called. C'est Patrick. Il vient prendre une assurance vie. If this intro doesn't scream 90s commercials, I don't know what does. As-tu déjà pensé à prendre une assurance vie? En c'est français, c'est vrai. Okay, so, funny story. They were only casting children who spoke French fluently. But then, just watch. Eh bien, ta mère et moi venons de souscrire à une assurance vie de Norwich Union. Tu devrais y penser. T'as de bonnes raisons, là, juste devant toi. Mais pas, je n'ai que 40 ans. Et là, Justement, ben, le régime garanti d'assurance vie plus est conçu pour les gens aussi jeunes que 40 ans. J'ai apporté le dossier d'information. J'ai dit un coup d'œil. Even if you don't speak French, you know it's an insurance commercial because bon it's boring as fuck. Fast forward. Deux deux un deux neuf six sept. Demandez le poste six zéro un. T'as raison, papa. Il n'est jamais trop tôt pour planifier. I was great. So yeah, I didn't end up having a speaking role, yet they wanted me to be completely fluent in French. <laughs> What's next? Oh, yes. Do you like it? Mom, what do you think? <laughs> Get into the corn is strong. Mom, what do you think? Mom, what do you think? Oh, I still sound the same, don't I? I never even got free tickets to that play. What the f***, man? In total, I think I did about 15 commercials, but I don't have any record of a lot of them because cameras were also a rare thing back then. But here's some pictures that I managed to dig up. Country style, honey nut Cheerios. I think one of the onset staff was trying to get him to stop eating the Cheerios. They were like, get your f***ing hand out of there. That's a prop. Wow, I look like a... The little boy. <laughs> Here's me getting my hair braided. What is with everyone in the f***ing pigtail double braids? Like, come on. Yo, those butterfly clips, though. I love those things. I used to put them on my entire head. I thought I looked really cool. I look really happy in that picture, though. Is she doing my nails? Holy shit! It looks like she's taking off polish. Oh, yeah. That's what was happening. What a bitch! And here's uh, one of my headshots. Oh, yeah, I'm a f***ing man. What you want, boy? The middle part, the long hair, kind of like Hanson. Messy eyebrows. I really think my bead necklace looks great, though. 
Love it. Why are you taking my picture, you fucking creep? <laughs> I kind of look like a frog in this one. I also was in a movie. Oh yeah, uh, just a trigger warning. This scene involved a man getting lynched. I mean, obviously it's acting, it's for a movie, but still, if you don't want to see that, please click away and come back in about uh, 20 seconds. Don't worry, it was a terrible movie. I hope I'm not gonna get like a copyright strike for this shit. I think they were going for like a 1900s look, but they didn't even have to try because technology was so shitty back then that it looks like this anyways. And herbal concoctions, midwifery, general all around healing. She had cured the richest man in the camp. Yo, my dad is so attractive in this. Himself, he promised to remember her in his will. Not a year later, he walked in front of a chicken truck and fell over dead. He kept his word. My grandmother inherited a pack of- Stop the car! That's really dark. You're lucky that rope was riding so high on your neck, sir. Who was that man? Who was that man? No one you need to think of. Dad wants to get the f out. So I've never watched past this part of the movie, so I'm not 100% sure if I'm in any other scenes. But based on what I filmed, I don't think I am. And I don't want to watch the rest of the movie because it's pretty boring. <laughs> they even got me a dialect coach because I had to learn how to talk like that. And what do you know? I'm still f***ing using it today, right, y'all? Well, I guess it came in handy then. I think we should rate my acting performance on a scale of 1 to YouTube. What do you think? Comment down below. <laughs> I do believe I have some pictures from that filming event. That's my sister, Jen, Mimi Rogers, and myself. So I wasn't actually in a scene with Mimi Rogers, but I was playing her as a kid in 1909. It's kind of like a flashback movie. Oh, I'm so f***ing cool, guys. <laughs> Alright, last one. Are you kidding? Of course. Of course I don't sleep with a stuffed animal. That's not what the Fit Finder says. <laughs> it's Fit Finder, the game that tells all. Do you have a secret crush on someone? A crush? Me? No way. Let's ask the Fit Finder. Find out which friend might be telling the truth or a big fib. Fit Finder says you do have a crush on someone. On who? Your brother. <laughs> you never know what you'll find out when you play Fit Finder. Fit Finder from so. Pressman. <laughs> It was all that was playing on YTV, which is a television channel at the time. And all the kids teased me and always said, Your brother. Your brother. Even though I don't have a brother. <laughs> Funny enough, I actually have a fib finder. Sounds like it's well put together. Check out this girl with the butterfly clips. That was the style, yo. How cool is that bedroom though? 2002 preteen girls goals. Also, my shirt is epic. I was so comfortable, I miss it. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Yeah. I figured uh, you, we could play a game. I'm gonna see if you're lying out there, if you're really subscribed or not. Make sure to watch my other video that just went live. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you didn't. Got you there. <laughs> and thanks so much for watching. I'll see y'all later. Bye!